Gabriel Spiazu. And I'm Carlos Olivares. And welcome back to SATV News. The 2022-2023 school year is quickly coming to a close. And with that, this concludes the first season of SATV News. We would like to thank Mrs. Aborio and all of the students in first period TV production who contributed to the show. We now present some highlights from SATV this year. Hello Panthers, uh, I just wanted to take time to really say thank you from the bottom of my heart to joining us, tuning in, and following us each week uh, on SATV News. Uh, we've had a lot of fun uh, here bringing you uh, these episodes. Uh, we've had our ups and downs, we've had uh, our, some tough times, but uh, I think we've all learned a lot uh, and uh, we've uh, really made a, a really good show for you guys and uh, we hope you've enjoyed and you continue to follow us uh, next year. And um, I just wanna say thank you to TV Production Class and SATV News. Uh, for all your hard work uh, and everything you've done uh, to help uh, bring this show to uh, to the school and uh, we look forward to continue uh, working with you guys and filming you and uh, and just uh, continue to uh, put a great show out for you guys and uh, we hope that you've enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you again and now we present this week's teacher of the week let's take a look at this week's teacher I'm Joel Morales from SATV News. Today I'm here with Ms. Fernandez. Ah, hello. How long have you been teaching? Um, I've been teaching forever. Um, I start very young, I'm 23 years old. Um, I started teaching kindergarten first in Spain. Um, and I came here 10 years ago. And then I started teaching high school. That is an amazing experience. It's completely different than what I did before. Um, but it's what I like. I like teaching. I like to be with kids. I like to be in different levels. And I like it. What's the best part about your job? Well, my, my favorite part is uh, to teach in language because it's so important to, to have a, a different language than yours. Uh, I always put me like in the model for them because um, when I came here, I learned English as a teenager. And it was hard, of course, and I have a super short vocabulary. Uh, my, I had the opportunity, my parents sent me to England, uh, you know, and I had the opportunity to learn a different language. Um, and then suddenly in your life, you sometimes you have a train to get. And that was my train to come here in the, to the United States. So I, I'm very grateful to my parents that they gave me that opportunity. At least I had a basic vocabulary, basic structure, basic something that I can't remember. And nowadays my English is improving a lot. Even though I always explain to them, like sometimes I don't have the, 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 the English here, no? But even if you are wrong in the accent, if you're wrong pronunciation and pronouncing something, it doesn't matter. You have to don't be scared about to, to learn something new and to, to, to do it, to produce it. That's one of the things that, and that's my favorite thing. Like, and at the same time, funny thing. Like, uh, if you're pronouncing something wrong, it doesn't matter, let's laugh about it, and let's continue, because the, the important thing is communication. You have to be able to communicate. And I remember uh, one of my students at the beginning of this year, he told me like, Miss, thank you so much, because I was in a cruise, I was able to communicate with my Mexican, a Mexican family there, like, and that's, that's so, I, I, I felt, at that moment, I felt so full of everything. Thank you to all the teachers here at Somerset. Teacher of the Week will be resumed next year. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to tune in next year. I'm Gabriel Espiazu. And I'm Carlos Olivares. And thank, thank you, you for, for tuning in to SATV News. <laughs>